Kaya, how are we doing? Good. How old are you? I'm eight years old. Wow. So you are the youngest one here. How does that make you feel? I think it gives me an advantage because age doesn't matter. It's a, more of your knowledge of food. Now, what is that burger? This is my Wagyu Rosini burger. Even the youngest competitors can teach the judges a thing or two on Master Chef Junior. Chef Graham Elliott returns for season four. Can't believe four years. Can you believe That's it? That's crazy. I know. Uh, and it's this Friday, and he's also celebrating the launch of his first cookbook because he's a busy guy. Cooking like a Master Chef 101 recipes to make the everyday extraordinary is in bookstores right now. But right now, Graham's with us in our kitchen, and you're already busy at work. Can you believe it? Always. Always. <laughs> and looking great doing it. Oh, I just thank say? you. I'm trying. I'm trying. Spelt, spelt, spelt. Looking great. Look at you. <laughs> Look at you. Show the guns. Okay, so this is risotto that you're making this morning. Yes. And because I watch you just a little bit, I know that you like to kind of, you appreciate kind of the time-honored traditions of cooking. Yes. But then you like to mix it up a bit. I do. I like to take things that everybody knows, but put like my own little twist on it. Yeah. So uh, with this one, it's almost like a fancy version of mac and cheese, right? But we're going to be using bacon, some beer braised onion, and then finishing it with uh, some cheddar. So it's going to be, you know, like a, a fancy version of mac and cheese. Should people be afraid of risotto because it's a slow cook, high maintenance thing? At least I, that's what I think. I know. Everyone's so intimidated. And people I think, are. Yeah, I think what I try to get across in the book, too, is like, just step back and realize all you're doing is taking something raw, applying heat to it, and then making it cooked. You've got like, to babysit it a little bit, right? You do. This is not one where you can throw it and then, like, you know, set it and forget it and run away. You have to... Be committed at least 20 minutes. So, it needs you know, love. Yeah, exactly. You got to get in there, talk to it, <laughs> kind of caress it. I always say you want to use a wooden spoon because it doesn't conduct heat. So it's not going to get really hot and then make the rice stick to it and get crispy. Because with risotto, it's all about texture. And I go in the same direction. So like a nice little dance versus all over where you can That's break up the to grains. Go in the same direction. Totally. That's interesting. So again, it's like a zen moment of cooking. Okay, I'm zen about what's going on over here because <laughs> you meant you mentioned uh, the onion, but you've got a couple of cheeses happening here, Graham. I do, I do. And so, life is good when there's cheese. Exactly. So look at these little babies, right? So you got them caramelized. We're going to add some beer. We're going to braise it. Some which, beer. Yeah, exactly. So mm. when you cook it down in the beer, you get all those beautiful flavors that stew and kind of uh, break into the onion. So that gives it this beautiful flavor. And I'm doing pearl onions so that I get, you know, almost one every other bite, like so a beautiful texture. piece. There's exactly, nice exactly. Going on in there. Totally. Okay, so what we did over here, just real quick, because we're cooking, yes. this is why you got to spend time with it. You can't boil it like pasta. You have to add a little bit of stock or water each time, and then that will uh, be absorbed by the rice. So now you Gosh, do that, yes. and then you go back over here and, and we can finish up. And you go back over here because the magic of television. <laughs> right. Voila, yeah. This is white cheddar? Yes, it is white cheddar. So. Again, I think that this is, you know, something that's really fun because instead of your traditional mushroom risotto with a bunch of Parmesan, things like that, you can always say, if it's not broken, break it. Like, let's just go crazy and, and change it all up. So that's what we're doing here. So you can see, get nice and porridgey. If it starts mm -hmm. looking stodgy, you just add some more water. Yeah, exactly. Was it fun it doing a little the cookbook? Bit. It was awesome, you know, and I've been cooking for almost 20 years, which is insane to, to even think How about. Is that even like, I know, isn't it crazy? So the fact that I did that and it's taken this long, I always say, you know, I do the show and Gordon would say something like, okay, and the winner gets a billion dollars, the trophy, and a cookbook, which Graham doesn't have for whatever reason. <laughs> so I would say. It was say, time. It was time, it exactly. Was time to do. What's the best thing about doing the show? Well, shows. Oh, man. The, the kids won junior, right? So, you know, these kids are 8 to 13. They're cooking with such love. They don't even know what the prize is going to be. They're just they're doing good. it. They're so good. They're, it's kind of like we thought, oh, it'll be fun. Kids love to cook and get them in here. And they're rocking out pasta from scratch, making raviolis. And we're like, oh my God, we got to make this harder because they're so good. Good. You are so good, and it's great to have you here. Oh, are you going to feed me? I am. I'm okay. going to take this now. Thank you so get much. It, <laughs> get it all like right in here. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to share this because I know Bev was salivating. Vicky over there, our guest so, coordinator. You will find Graham's risotto recipe on our website and catch the premiere of season four of MasterChef Junior Friday night at eight on CTV2. You're awesome. Great to have you awesome. here. You're awesome. Thank you. Up next.